That's looking good. Okay, now I haven't tightened this up all the way just yet. I got it in the groove. And now, before I tighten it all the way, you see there's a little bit of a slop in here. Because where the screw is, that hole is open to a little bit. Because if this box was slightly off, let's say, you could straighten up this by pushing the top over to the left, the bottom over to the right, or something like that. But I don't really need to do that because that is going to be crooked on this particular box. This box looks pretty straight, so I'm going to, I'm going to have just a little reveal on both sides of that notch. You know, I'm going to screw that in. Just kind of hold that. Okay, make that snug. Do the same thing down here. Just going to kind of hold on to the plug. Make sure it stays. Right there, I got a, just a slight gap on both sides, and that looks nice and straight. Now, if you want, you could even take a tape measure over here. Let's see what it is. It's a short three inches, and I got three inches exactly at the bottom. So you know what? I can move the bottom over, or maybe I can maybe I can move the top, move the top over just a little bit to the right. Okay, that's assuming that wall is perfectly plumb. If this wall was not plumb, if you measured off of there, then your box is not going to be straight. But because it's so close, I can do it that way. I got three inches there and three inches there. Another way you can check it. Looks like the box, this is coming out nice and straight and everything. You know, I think we can put that cover plate back on right now if we want. What do you think? We'll put that cover back on like that. But before I do that, remember, it was sticking to the wall. I'm just going to clean that back side off here. Sometimes you got to kind of check that because you get little bits of paint and sheetrock and caulking on there and then your cover may not fit tight and if you if the wall has been painted again you might see a, a different color paint on the side you can flake that off now is a good time to flake that off too okay that, that's looking nice I think that's gonna work so I'm gonna put those screws back in and remember I had these little edges here I was concerned that that wasn't going to cover but it's going to it's covering just barely but it covers now if that didn't cover I could take this I still got a sixteenth right there and right there I could have shoved the this plug over a sixteenth of an inch if I needed to then this then I'd have enough room you know what I mean and if anything was showing I'd rather have the left hand side showing than the right hand but I don't have that problem, so I'm just going to put that back on just the way it is. I'm just giving you some tips to help you with your project, just in case you need to move this over. And if you had to move it over any further, you could undo these two screws for this cut-in box, and you could, you could grab the box and push it over just a hair that way, and then tighten those back up. You know what I mean? So there's another option for you. Locked and loaded.